2021 is just a few days away, so what better time than now to provide a bit of an update on what's to come and what's been going on these past 12 months. It's now been well over a year since I came out of retirement, if you will, and in that time I've published two full runs with accompanying commentary videos, a solo compilation, a poorly made guide, two combo videos, and an AMA. That's not a lot. I'm not exactly happy with the amount of stuff I've made since last year, as I was hoping to do at least one more full run this year, but that obviously never happened for a lot of reasons. Lack of faith in the runs and myself, mental health, technical difficulties, basically the entire spectrum of stuff that can go wrong, went wrong. I'm at least happy to report the technical difficulties have more or less been solved, but I'm, uh, I'm still working on the other stuff, I'm afraid. As far as gameplay is concerned, this year has been one of learning, practice, discovery, de-rusting, that kind of stuff. I've basically been expanding my options in a lot of ways. I've been playing and beating Tales games I hadn't before, as well as dabbling with other series to see if there's anything cool or interesting to do there with varying results. There are some games with potential, some with... uh... spirit, I guess. While I've had very little to show for it so far, I believe I've been laying a solid foundation for my future projects, while also making progress on the ones I already have in the works, so I'm hoping it'll pay off eventually. Rest assured, I've been working on videos behind the scenes ever since Jenna went up. There are just a lot of things to juggle, and it's difficult to focus on any single run when the difficulty of the fights and how interesting they are to actually play fluctuates as much as it currently does. Let's say, for example, that I record two bosses for a run, but then hit a wall for whatever reason. Maybe the boss has a really tricky or, or bullshit mechanic, or my execution or strategy isn't working. I'll then analyze the fight as best I can and try out different things until I find something that works. Then get everything to a point where I know it's only a matter of time until everything falls into place and I get the take I want. At that point, there's not really much I can do to speed up the process from a time investment standpoint, unless I update the strategy or something. So when the wall is still there and being a bitch, but I, I at least know how to get over or through it, I usually move on to make progress on either a different boss or a different run entirely and uh, leave it for later as the muscle memory and the notes I take will still be there to get me back up to speed if the break ends up being long. Jesus Christ, that was a long fucking sentence. Doing bosses out of order is fine since I don't upload anything until everything is done, and the videos usually need a revision or two before they're up to snuff anyway, so that's, that's fine. What ended up happening recently, however, was that every run hit multiple walls at the same time, and the only way to make progress was to bite the bullet and pick one of them to solve. I ended up going with a run that was being held back by emulator problems, aka the, the technical difficulties I mentioned earlier, so things are thankfully starting to pick up steam again, there at least. The other walls are still standing, but I'm working on it. Please understand. Uh, long story short, I've been working on a lot of different things at once, but nothing is done yet, obviously. Chipping away at stuff until everything is nice and ready for prime time as per usual. Turning my tired, lifeless eyes to 2021 for a second, let's talk a little bit about what you can expect in the coming year. As I said before, I've been opening up new doors for myself by playing different games, tales or otherwise, and some of it is bearing fruit. I also have a couple of runs on my backlog that I wanted to do for a good while, so I'll likely prioritize those over the new and shiny toys I've only just found out actually existed all this time. As always, I won't spill the beans just yet, but I'll hopefully have something to show sooner rather than later. Thanks for sticking around for this content route sponsored by yours truly, and I sincerely hope you'll enjoy what I've got cooking. Okay, bye! Happy New Year!